What's up, everybody? I'm David Hain. Welcome to episode 110 of the A to D from Attic to Disciple podcast. I really appreciate your listening. If you enjoy these podcasts, please like, subscribe, follow, and share the link with your friends, or click on the support link in this episode's description. Your donation of any amount could change a life. When we come back, we'll get into today's episode entitled, Have You Seen My Childhood? Welcome back to episode 110 of the A to D from Addict to Disciple podcast entitled, Have You Seen My Childhood? In today's episode, I'm going to be looking at the fourth chapter in my From Ashes to Destiny curriculum, which starts out with a poem by Gregory Williams entitled My Childhood. And in this poem, Mr. Williams wrote of his deep pain from his childhood, the pain with his mom and his dad. And as you listen to it, you'll realize that many of us have similar pains and believes that no one cares or no one understands. Here's Mr. Williams' poem. My childhood was dim, no light at all, full of pain and sadness, as I recall. Have you seen my childhood? My mother was a junkie. She was always high. The truth wasn't in her. She was full of lies. Have you seen my childhood? My father, an alcoholic, but he was never there. Maybe he didn't love me or just didn't care. Have you seen my childhood? When I was mischievous, I was whipped like a slave. The pain I felt, I'll take to my grave. Have you seen my childhood? Mayhem and chaos, day after day. Quite often I hit my knees to pray, feeling lonely and scared, crying night after night, looking towards God for open insight. Have you seen my childhood? My mother died at 40, but I didn't feel free. You have no idea what it's like being me. Have you seen my childhood? My father died at 43, but still no relief. I barely knew the man, so my mourning was brief. Have you seen my childhood? Now I'm all grown up, but my mind's not intact, because I have a dilemma, it being crack. Have you seen my childhood? I'm constantly confused, and I don't know what to do. I've seen my childhood. Have you? Pshaw. Deep words there. Can you hear Gregory's heart? If you met Greg, would you be able to see his heart? Or would you jump to conclusions and judgment, realizing that he was in prison and his problem was crack cocaine? Well, what we do in From Attic to Disciple and in the curriculum From Ashes to Destiny is encourage everyone who works with us to write their own poem. And included in the book is the response of young men in Shakusa Borstal, a juvenile prison in western Kenya, when they recognized their need for heart change and healing. Listen to how they rewrote the poem. My childhood was dim, no light at all, full of pain and sadness as I recall. I entered into drug smuggling to earn a living. Oh, it was the survival of the fittest. Addiction, addiction, addiction. Heroin, bong, cocaine, name them. Who brought you? When I needed my parents, they were nowhere for me. No one to guide me. Have you seen my childhood? Have you seen my childhood? Have you seen my childhood? Due to loneliness, I got no friends. Not good friends, but bad friends. They injected me with drugs to feel like a king in the palace. Little did I know they are destroying my body. Be aware of bad friends. They will bury you alive. It has now come into my mind that what a man sows is what he will reap. When I needed my parents, they were nowhere for me. No one to guide me. Have you seen my childhood? You drugs, you brought dizziness, constant headache, coughing, now developed cancer due to heavy smoking, liver problems due to heavy drinking, and now suffering alone, 
Those friends, nowhere to be seen. When I needed my parents, they were nowhere for me. No one to guide me. Have you seen my childhood? My father, alcoholic, was a stranger in his home. He was never there for me. Maybe he didn't love me or he didn't care. A meal a day was a dream to me. I took capsules and injections to comfort me. Maybe to feel like a real man. When I needed my parents, they were nowhere for me. No one to guide me. Have you seen my childhood? My mother, uncaring mother she was. The whole family was doomed to drugs. She could say, I used to give you a cup of chaka while young for you to sleep many hours while I do my work. Uncaring and ungodly she was. When I needed my parents, they were nowhere for me. No one to guide me. Have you seen my childhood? Drugs destroyed my head of reason. Addiction led me to dwell in the path of wickedness. My brothers, come out of it, I pray. My God, I turn to you as my only Savior. Forgive me and give me hope. You are a father to the fatherless. You know how to comfort a wounded heart. Accept me as your son, O oh my Lord. My heart thirsts for you. Come, please, come quickly and rescue me. When I needed my parents, they were nowhere for me. No one to guide me. Have you seen my childhood? Have you seen my childhood? Wow. Two deep heart cries from two different continents, but the same story. Do we really understand the childhood pain of people who end up self-medicating through drugs and alcohol because they have nowhere else to turn because there's no one to guide them? Wow, a lot to think about. I'd like to give two more poems that people wrote that I've been working with, and both of these were men who've ended up addicted in sexual addictions. Here's the first one. Born wild, my heart was free, shamed when kissing at just age three. Wanting a kiss in kindergarten, ran away. She turned back disheartened. What did I miss out on? Best friend moving in second grade, having his memories began to fade. Kids in school got into sexual things, porn, sex talk, and childhood flings. All of these things I pondered alone in shame. All of these things I avoided in Jesus' name. But what did I miss out on? Finding porn, this be the answer. I can now be included. What more can I ask for? Seeing more, there is so much to learn. Desiring, fantasies, this ungodly yearn. What else is out there? What did I miss out on? What about sexual things, I asked my dad. Stay away from them, he said. They are bad, bad, bad. So push down my desires. Push them down low. Perfect Christian guy is the one that they'll know. But what did I miss out on? But when no one is around in the secret place, I'll search as my shame meets me face to face. Hearing stories of sexual things I never saw, I promise myself quietly, I'll experience them all. Because what did I miss out on? Years of addiction have stolen my days as I sought to find comfort in fleshly ways. Desire, preoccupation, and fantasy have stolen my kids' youngest years from me. What have I missed out on? Now, a broken family and my soul torn apart. I look at my choices with a broken heart. My kids I love and my beautiful wife. I work on my recovery to save my life because what would I miss out on? Shaw, deep stuff. Can you hear the pain that carries through to our adulthood? and into our new marriages and new family. Here's the fourth poem for today. Have you seen my parents? I can't seem to find them as I lie in bed alone, crying because I was scared at school when all attention was on me. Have you seen my mother? I can't seem to find her when I run away from home. 
I think that's the only way I'll get attention when I'm hurting. Have you seen my father? I can't seem to find him when I need help. I know sharp anger will come when I ask at the wrong time. Have you seen my mother? I can't seem to find her as I lie on the floor at night, sweating and shivering with a fever of 106 degrees. Have you seen my father? I can't seem to find him as I hide in the basement, hearing his muffled screams from upstairs as he yells at my mother. Have you seen my mother? I can't seem to find her when my dad berates me. He puts me down and blames me for his mistakes. Have you seen my father? I can't seem to find him when I'm scared, so I mimic his behavior and pretend that something only girls feel. Have you seen my mother? I can't seem to find her when I'm sad, so I push those emotions away and embrace anger to keep safe. Have you seen my father? I can't seem to find him when my hormones change. I'm interested in girls in a way I've never experienced, and I'm confused. Have you seen my mother? I can't seem to find them when I'm shown a naked image of a woman. I think she's pretty. Maybe she could be my mother. Have you seen my father? I can't seem to find him when orgasm seems to fix my pain. It relieves my hurts in life. Maybe it can be my father. Have you seen my parents? I can't seem to find them. Shaw. Four glimpses into addiction. Two from drug and alcohol. Two from porn and sexual addictions. But one common thread. The thread of parents who weren't there when we needed them in our childhood and we had nowhere to turn and we felt alone and abandoned without knowing how to process them. Hopefully this episode has stirred in you some things that you still need to process. Thanks for listening to this episode of the A to D from Addict to Disciple podcast. If this did stir in you things that you need to process, please reach out. I've got online groups available and one-on-one counseling, and we all have these childhood wounds that we do need to process before they destroy our new relationships in adulthood. So please message me on the link in this podcast or by email at david from a to d at gmail.com or go to my website www.fromatod.org and click on the contact page. You can also keep in touch with what we're doing in From A to D by following me on Instagram at David from A to D. Tune in Monday for our next episode and as always stay safe and stay strong.